Greetings, it's Mikey Leung from Digital Storytellers. Today I'm joined by Andrew Young from the Center for Social Impact. He's a Chief Executive Officer from CSI and has been so since 2012. What you might not know is that Andrew actually has a PhD in engineering from way back in 1995. Maybe it should have been social engineering. And after earning this PhD, he's gone on to a long and uh, hopefully continuing career in creating social impact here in Australia. Andrew Young, thanks very much for joining us. Would you take a moment to tell us about the Centre for Social Impact and its vision? Uh, well, the Centre for Social Impact, or CSI, has a mission to improve the delivery of social impact throughout Australia through research, teaching, measurement and the promotion of public debate, which is a bit of a mouthful. But uh, in, in a process of refining our vision last year, uh, we emphasised that our mission is improving the delivery of beneficial social impact. So it's a very active mission. And mostly what we are aiming to bring to that now is a systemic view. There are lots of people working on things like social innovation, social finance, measurement. Our question is a bigger picture one. How do those things contribute to a more effective system that delivers greater social outcomes over time? Mm, great. So is um, today the center, f the, sorry, the social marketplace event, is that actually a manifestation of this? Uh, yeah, part of, our, part of our vision in creating events like the social marketplace is to bring people together from all sectors, all shapes and sizes. We are very much of the view that our traditional method of trying to respond to social challenges, which is almost always find another program and fund it, is not going to address our most complex social problems. So what do we need to do? So we need to bring uh, different innovations, different sectors uh, and the community all together and think holistically about how we can address the underlying social issue. We need to focus much more on ways in which we can create markets for outcomes is one of the main themes of our work now. So uh, organisations, be they government, non-profit, corporate or other, who are good at delivering social outcome attract more resource. It's the only way we can create a learning evolving system that is capable of dealing with more and more social outcome delivery with shrinking resources, which we as a country are going to face over the next two decades or so. Talk, uh, talk to us a little bit more about actually having a social marketplace here in Australia. It's still a relatively new concept, isn't it? Uh, it's a very new concept and, and I would argue it's, it's a relatively new and undeveloped con uh, concept in developed countries, ironically. I think that uh, this kind of concept has, has much greater root in, in the developing world. Uh, in a developed country like Australia, I think our, our challenge is really to understand how we can take innovation and scale it. And for me, that's one of the main purposes of this concept of a social marketplace, um, to, to foster, enable uh, early stage ideas. And again, I'm not just talking about social enterprises across all sectors, early stage ideas that deliver a more positive social outcome and attract all kinds of investors to it. The more philanthropic end of investment right through in time to the more traditional end of investment. And the latter is about scale. How can we uh, ensure that the best social innovations can have a greater impact, whether it's through having lots of them uh, or some bigger ones or both and, and various other models. What barriers are we facing in order to create that that environment that you're describing? There? I think a lot of the barrier to leveraging social innovation in Australia uh, is around scale. We have so much that is established infrastructure, established program delivery, established organisations, be they governments, some non-profits and, and some companies, um, that there is a lot of inertia. It's very difficult for the new idea to break through and have an impact in a very developed marketplace like Australia's. So we need to change that up. We need to understand when, uh, when a new idea has the potential to create more social value and to be prepared through models that we know from other sectors. We know the venture capital model uh, and how it applies to stages of investment to, to facilitate growth in a new idea. We need to adapt those ideas into the social space far more than we're doing at the moment. Now, the Centre for Social Impact, I believe it's part of your, your vision as well, or based on what I've seen from the Centre for Social Impact, you're, you're positioning yourselves to provide leadership in this space. Is that correct? Uh, it, it is and it isn't. I mean, we, we absolutely want to be thought leaders around what we view as the five or six keys to Australia improving its performance in delivering social outcomes, well-being for, for our country. Um, but in a way, we don't care whether it's our idea or somebody else's. What, what we want to promote is the best ideas. You know, what is best practice? Uh, what is the most useful thinking about how we create markets, how we create new environments for innovation and, and outcomes to 
to flourish. Now, if that's your idea, my idea, uh, somebody else's idea, um, as long as it's good thinking and has the potential to help us address large-scale social issues, we're interested. So as much as anything else, we want to be facilitators, conveners of the best thinking from government, from corporate, from non-profit, from the community, from social enterprise, and to bring that together, to create places like this one where those ideas can be elevated and, and, and learnt from um, so that collectively we deliver better outcomes in the future. Fantastic. Now today is also a simulated marketplace, right? So you've got $10,000 in your pocket. What do you think you're going to be doing with that $10,000? Well, I did think about taking it home for the mortgage, but I'm not sure it's, um, it's a valid currency outside of this marketplace. Uh, early days for me, I've got two or three favourites. Um, one or two I, I, I've known from before today, so I'm going to try and make it more of a level playing field, get to know some of the newcomers. Um, I'm really keen to invest in ideas that have a very strong social potential. There may be others who are stronger on the financial return side. Uh, I'm very much looking for a blend. Andrew, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you.